Hello. In this video, I want to show you how to create your own Dev1 Linux Live CD. Dev1 is a Linux distribution, which is basically a fork from a Debian without systemd. Just this past week, the newest version of Dev1 has been released 3.0 called Beowulf. This is actually a very, very lightweight distribution. And what I want to do is just want to follow the steps from the previous projects in GitHub to get, a, get everything installed, five scripts, follow in order, and everything's going to be just, uh, just like the description suggests. They want us to get started. Basically, one file that gets them all, all the dependencies. At the end of the, the script, we're going to be ending with a ISO image, which is about 330 megs for the minimal install, and we have some other uh, scripts that help us for the builders for Plasma, i3, XFCE, and MATE. Um, I want to make a note that I really appreciate on a previous project, uh, the art image, the free online image editor. Let me update my splash screen, and I use it for this one, and future one is pretty cool. Uh, let me do basic edits on uh, groups plus images online. It's totally free. And this this video is being recorded with ShareX, which is actually a nice software to do this. So let's get started. Um, the first thing is um, I'm starting with a script in in an X Ubuntu machine installed in the virtual box. Uh, no magic, nothing fancy, just a simple user. Uh, and this is the user that um, I'm going to be running everything into it. This user has been added to the etc sudoers. Uh, and as you can see, it's one of the latest versions of x Ubuntu. So it doesn't really matter which distribution, just the one works for you is fine. Uh, I'll go ahead and get the, the raw script when they get started. Uh, and I want to copy. Uh, and I'm going to go directly to my, to my shell. I want to go ahead and get on this file, change to this mode, and I will say fire in the hole. So we just let execute, which is basically a download of uh, all the dependencies that actually needs. If we take a look to the file, it's just a bunch of wgets. There's one command at the end, it's like a pseudo command, you might prompt me for a password. Um, but other than that, um, Basically, the the get started. It's all it does. Just W gets on a bunch of files. So that's now we have a sequence of orders, five scripts. The first one is just dependencies. I can do the pseudo dependencies. If I take a look, of course, I install everything. So really, it's not installed nothing right now because I run this previously. But uh, if you take a look to the directs, click on the file. Basically, it's up to install just a bunch of tools like you know you need in order to create a live image or live CD. So it's only all it is. Since I run it before, nothing nothing really extraordinary here. It just shows that actually executed. And at the end, it says, okay, execute your second script. But remember, now we're doing for the version 3 of the kernel. So in this case, uh, we have a different file. We have a file for the version 3. The only difference that we have that is actually running Leo Wolf part of the debootstrap. That's what I want to do. Execute and do the debootstrap. Basically, it's going to create another folder. If we go back here, well, this is we're doing some work. Um, it's scripture two with three. So let's go ahead and take a look here. It's just doing a debootstrap. Your wall live is creating a live CD based on the configuration. Um, and actually, it's creating a couple little things to mount. It's going to dump into the once once it downloads to start building the previews or the pre environment. Just like if you ever done a, a Linux from scratch installation, you can recognize a lot of these libraries is part of that. It's a similar process. It creates a temporary seal system that you can actually churn into it and then you install the 
the files and everything you wanted to actually make it yours. So similar process here, just building a pre-staging um, environment and the, all the files is there. So the only magic is like what using the package manager instead of doing by, by, by hand. But I have another video that shows some scripts to do Linux from scratch, uh, just like by the book. And all those files are pretty familiar, are the same thing. Uh, just following the similar process, building a, a pre-environment uh, to Cheroot. And at the end of the script, it's gonna dump you right into the into the script. So there you are. But the Cheroot environment, and actually it copies some of the files for us. What we're trying to do is the minimal right now. So I'm gonna execute the, which if I take a look on the security, um, Uh, the only thing it does is just move your version, your version of the images, and you can add as many things that you needed to right here, modifying this file. Uh, it has inclusion of the root password and add a live user because of the scope of this. So, with that being said, I just want to go ahead and execute this file. And this part of the visions. So now it's in the root environment, executing something similar, but now. This is going to be this is going to be home from now on. And this is going to become part of the environment that is going to be built. I choose to put um, nginx to demonstrate that actually some of the services like uh, SSH or nginx can be actually started in a live CD. So eventually, if you take this one as one of the little images for a Raspberry Pi and maybe monitoring, I don't know, temperature. Uh, water, humidity, uh, motion, depends on your sensors. Um, you can actually put on those and start feeding some of those, those things. The, the idea to have a 300 meg uh, Linux distribution uh, running with barely nothing on RAM is, is very appealing. I think the best next thing is just to convert it into a container, but other than that, you can really do so much with so little. Uh, it's amazing. Um, how this distribution is coming long, long way. But um, right now it's actually the, this is the part of the script that Chabrul actually takes the longest. But we're still only in seven minutes on the video, so I expect it to be in under 10. Because of, you just have basically uh, a login with a live user and, uh, and a simple password for the root. Um, it's gonna start SSH, it's gonna start Nginx, and it's going to put super fast. It's not going to be even funny um, how how fast this, this thing is. I guess it's, no code is better than what your code, right? But uh, as you can see, this is not being accelerated. This is just a regular. This is the only question that actually asked me. I think if I can just get by with passing some prompts and avoiding the English, English is my option here, just get there. And that's about it. This is about everything I've touched on that. Screen number two, I'm good. I'm exit from the true environment. I'm back to my regular environment. And uh, the other thing I have to do is the execution of file 04, which is basically the make a squash and start making the image out of my installation. Um, nothing just out of the ordinary. This is the the part is actually potentially could take a little longer in your system. Everything's subject to your bandwidth, your CPU speed, your memory, uh, the I/O on your drive. Of course, I have solid state drive in this HP Omen gaming laptop, but uh, and it's pretty fast. But uh, and just for the scope of this um, demonstration, I boosted up a little bit this virtual machine. I put four CPUs and. Uh, Two gigs of RAM just to let it move faster for the scope of this um, crunching the file system, making the squash FS similar. It's going pretty good. 80% is essentially the one takes the most. 265. Let's go ahead and create the ISO finally, which, if we take a look, is uh, basically just taking the UEFI or regular boot and just do it. So. I'll go ahead and just give it a shot. It's done, 316 megs. I move uh, the one boot. The one has uh, my 
and create by yourself. Uh, over there, let me copy back to my machine. There we go. Copy me back. 55 with 10 minutes right there with all the extra introductions. Let me go ahead and go ahead and get selectors. This is something we're using the storage uh, and just have this file. This one that I just copy, that's fine. Let me just get it started and let's see what it looks like. So, right here, got the virtual machine. The Dev 1.0 is live, which is fine. Live CV. And it just starts. And there you go. I will start with live. And check this out. Free. Only uses 35 megs of RAM. The processes. It's only starting the network, which is the network manager and the HTTP. Dbus daemon. E login daemon, uh, have my, my terminals, of course, have the login, which actually is, is the login that actually I just log in, I have nginx running, I have a bulk kit daemon, and SSH, and the udevd. So if I run it, uh, each top is not there, okay, I can always do that. So stop, there's connectivity, goes there, get your stuff, and each stop is there. Um, very fast. So right now, this seems like there's a little disconnect on the screen. Screen fetch is actually showing Debian instead of the the Dev One OS. But overall, you see 40 megs of RAM. I mean, it's really nothing. Um, let me go ahead and start X real quick. For the basic demonstration, the minimum, even the minimum, have a index terminal. Let's see. Let's a little bit here. Let's go ahead and do 73 max running on X just for this X window. Um, PS3. Now the only thing is running actually on my on the user is actually XORG. It's not actually doing nothing else. There you go, guys. Super small Dev One Linux Live CD in an ISO. Um, if you guys like it, you can feel free to go ahead and check it out on the Dev on the. Source for some net, they want OS, have one for, um, this is the one you're looking, the 3.0, 330 megs, and if you're interested to check, I have some other videos that just belong to different scripts, uh, I will run some other videos later, but basically run the KDE Plasma, the i3, XFC, and the MATE, and uh, again, kudos for the online image editor, and ShareX for in this video. Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed and uh, hopefully you enjoy that one. It's a great uh, lightweight distribution for some of the specific purposes. Thank you and see you next time.